Hello, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this is gonna be a collab with Nisi J. If you don't know her, definitely go check her out. We're going to do an affordable three-in-one date night get ready with me. I'm going to use all of my affordable skincare products and just show you the steps that I take before getting ready. And then I'm going to go into the makeup and at the end of the video, I'll have my little date night outfit. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so first I'll start off with my e.l.f. Super Clarify Cleanser with Niacinamide. And here you can see me using the Good Molecules Caffeine Energizing Hydrogel Eye Patches. And these are eye patches that you leave on for a couple of minutes and they firm, they energize, they brighten. They're infused with caffeine, which is really good. So I'm going to leave these eye patches on while I use a lip scrub. And I actually use Rose Hip Oil by Go Pure. And this is a 100% pure and natural cold press, premium grade A rose hip oil and I just mixed it with sugar and here I am just kind of scrubbing away my lips so they can be nice and soft for the night and after that I use the Burt's Bees chapstick and I'm just going to apply that and you can see me here taking off the eye patches and once I take them off I just kind of massage that in really well. Alright, so now I'm going to use an essence and this is a snail mucin. I like to use this because it helps retain moisture. Then I'm going to go in with my vitamin C by Go Pure. And the last step as far as hydration is my hyaluronic acid by Good Molecules. All right, and the next step that I have is my eye gel by Go Pier. And the last step is my moisturizer by e.l.f. And I like this because it has squalene in it. All right, I'm going to start off by using my brow pencil. And this one is by Profusion. And I'm going to carve out my brows with a Juvia's Place Concealer. Going to use a NYX eye crayon in the shade Milk and use that as my base and I'm going to apply that on my lid. All right, so I'm using a Wet n Wild palette, and these are the 10 pan palettes, which are really cool because they give you everything you need. You don't need even need to reach for another palette. They give you a crease color, a outer V color, a brow bone highlight. They give you metallics. They give you mattes, lid colors. So I can really appreciate that in these palettes and even though they might not have the best pigmentation you can always help that 
by using a really good base. Alright, now I'm going to apply a liquid eyeliner. And I'm going to use a Wet n Wild mascara and I'm going to apply it kind of heavy on the lower lashes because I didn't apply any eyeshadow. Next I'm going to go in with my Eye Envy eyelashes and I'm actually putting on glue right now before I put on my foundation. And now I'm going to apply my L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. Alright, now I'm going in with a cream contour palette by Sleek and I'm just going to apply that and then blend it out. Alright, now I'm going to apply my lashes now that the glue is tacky. Alright, now I'm going in with my concealers and I'm going to use them as a under eye highlight. So as you can see, on the inner part of the eye, I use the lighter concealer, and on the outer part of the eye, I'm actually mixing it in with the darker concealer, and again, the lighter concealer. Right, so to make my eyes look a little bit bigger, I always like to line them with a nude pencil and this pencil is by Milani. And because some of the color got on my lower lashes, I always like to go back over them with the mascara. Alright, now I'm going to add some translucent powder by CoverGirl and this is actually in the shade 115. Um, you can't really see it, but this is a really good under eye powder. It won't give you any flashback or look really weird in pictures. And this is my Ruby Kisses contour or bronzer palette. I like to use that shade as a bronzer.
and right here I'm just trying to sharpen things up a little bit by adding more of the translucent powder and this is my Believe highlighting stick it's a cream highlighter and after that I'm gonna go in with a Milani strobe light glowing powder I'm going to apply a little bit of blush And now I'm going to apply a matte lipstick by Morphe in True Story. And my setting spray is by Milani. And the name of it is Make It Dewy. And this is the final look. And never mind me, I'm laughing at my husband. Alright, and here's my date night outfit. I have a backless dress, stockings, heels, and a necklace with rhinestones and earrings. Now I'm all set for date night. Thanks for watching.